Hello everybody, my name is John Taylor. I go by Arbitrage in the Numerai Rocket Chat. And today we're going to upgrade Numerai Compute to version 0.3. It was released recently and I'm happy to show you how to upgrade your compute node. So first, let's open up our command prompt. We need to install the new version of Numerai CLI. So let's do that. Pip install and then add the upgrade flag. So we'll do that. We'll run that. Okay. You'll see a lot of prints. It will upgrade to 0 0.3. We're done. So that's great. We need to upgrade next. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of the commands. So let's simply type numeri and then add the help flag. So when we do that, you can see that it's really well documented within the package. So we have a few things that we need to do. You can see the commands. We can copy the example. We can use numeri doctor, numeri list constants. We'll want to see that so we can see how big the node can be. Let's do that first. So you just type numeri list dash constants. And what you'll see is it gives you the size presets. One CPU, two CPUs, or four, and different memory sizes for your RAM usage. Four, eight, 16, or 30 if you need the largest. So that would be mem dash LG to get the largest compute setup. Uh, if you don't care about optimizing your RAM, then a MEM LG is probably the best way to go. So, here, let's do the next one. Let's go to Numeri Setup. It looks like you have an old configuration. Hmm, guess I can't do that. Well, that's good. It helps us to make sure we don't do something wrong. Let's set that up as Numeri Upgrade. What's going to do is ask that we run it from where we have the current install set up. So it still helps us. This is a, a wonderful upgrade from the previous version, and it helps to make sure that you're doing it right. So the previous compute was set up in example dash numeri. So let's go there. All right, now that we're in the directory, we just type numeri upgrade again. Now, what it's going to do is create a new folder in your home directory, which will be .numeri. Since we can use nodes now, we need to spend a little time thinking about how we're going to set this up. In the case of the Twitch example models, they all run in one pipeline. So I don't need to set up multiple nodes for this particular account. However, you may have it set up where each model has its own compute node. And that's up to you. You'll have to decide how you want to set this up. In this case, I'm going to set it up into its own folder, and this will allow me in the future to expand on it should I choose to do different nodes. So it's recommended that you destroy your current compute node. Do you want to continue? We say yes. So it's going to go through and remove everything from that current folder and put it back in the home directory. So let's just wait a moment and let it do that. Now, of course, I backed up everything already. I saved my job lib files, the predict.py, the requirements.txt, and I put it into a separate folder. I named that folder ex-nomi. Well, because it's the example nomi model. So here we go. The upgrade's complete. Let's take a look at how that was set up. You'll notice in my home directory, which is just my first name, I now have a .numeri folder. Mm, there's no predict.py or anything. For convenience sake, I've already set that up. Here it is. This may look familiar to you. We have the predict.py file requirements.txt, the job lib to reduce the features to float32, docker files, the job lib file for the Twitch example model, and everything we need is ready to go. So I'm going to close this. Okay, so I've got that set up. What's the next thing to do? Well, let's go back and look at what we're working on. We need to go back to the home directory. So let's do that. CDC. Okay. Now, remember, just type help if you're stuck. Numeri dash dash help. And here we have the different commands. So let's go to numeri node help. Okay. Within the node command, we have several things going on. 
we can add the name of the model that we're going to set as the webhook. This is pretty important because this should be the first model that runs in your pipeline if it's a pipeline. In my case, this is Twitch example Nomi. That will be the model that I'm going to use to set this up on a webhook. Additionally, you can set this up for signals. You can add a flag for signals and you can do that. And finally, you can add the help flag to catch all the messages within your command prompt. In this case, we need to configure our node. So let's do that. Numeri node config. Now add the help flag again so you can see what's going to happen as we go. It asks for my model name. So let's put that in. Twitch example nomi. Okay. So it's saying it uses Terraform to create a full Numeri compute cluster in AWS. So it's going to look for that. We have a few things we can look at. The, the P provider flag, we don't need to do anything with that because right now compute only works with AWS. Uh, it's been promised that more providers will be added in the future, but this particular tutorial focuses on using AWS. We can set the size of the compute node which we saw from the first constants, the list constants flag. So we're going to use MEM-LG. Also the path. Path is important because we need to tell Numeri CLI where to find the predict.py, Docker file, the requirements.txt. Now we're ready to set this up. So we're going to pay attention to the flags. First, Numeri node config. We need to add the size flag so that we tell AWS how much RAM and CPU cores to allocate to our instance. I'm going to use the MEM-LG constant. Also, path. There's something important here. The path for your prediction pipeline, if you set it inside the .numeri folder, on the uninstallation of Numeri CLI, everything in that folder will be deleted. So everything within .numeri will be deleted. Don't put your prediction pipeline there. Store it in your home directory or some other place that you think of in advance that helps you stay organized. That way you don't lose your hard work. So I have to tell Numeri CLI where I've set this folder. And so it's in my home directory. It happens to be by my first name. So I just type it in. Um, where you place it may be different. So just pay attention to the to the flags and your, your path to your model. So let's go ahead and run that. It'll ask for my model name. In this case, this is Twitch example, Nomi. That's going to help it to set up the webhook. So it's going to run in the background, set up all the cloud stuff the, the hard thing that we don't want to have to do manually. That's the beauty of this compute pipeline. It's also going to register the webhook for us automatically. There's nothing to copy and paste. So I'll save you a little time. I won't make you watch this as it runs. Okay, the cloud resources have been created successfully. Now it's going to save the node configuration to my nodes.json file. It also registered my webhook. So now that has been registered. I can now like it says, I can deploy and test my node. So how do we do that? Well, guess what? We can just use the help flag. Remember, you can always use the help flag. It's well documented within the CLI. So here we want to go into node. So we go to Numeri node. Let's check this one out. What do we do with Numeri node now? Oh, okay, we can test it. We can also deploy it. I'm a fan of testing first. We want to make sure that everything works. So let's do that and first figure out what we can use within tests. So let's add the help flag one more time. It asks for which model we're using. Right? Okay, so we can test it locally. I recommend you do that first. We can also add a command. I don't recommend using that, uh, but your mileage may vary. And also do add the verbose flag so that you can see. So here we go. Numeri node test, and then we add the local flag, and then we add the verbose. It's going to ask us which model, which is fine. We just tell it one more time. Twitch example, Nomi. All right, so it's going to build the Docker container. We'll just wait a moment for this to go through. There's a little tip. If you want to check to see if your Docker image is actually being used, just open your Docker desktop, and you can see that there is one in use. So it does take a little bit of time to run, but I'm using a bit of movie magic to help you get through those boring moments quickly with this tutorial. But do check your Docker image, and you can see that it's running. And we'll just continue to wait until the 
uh, model predictions have been uploaded, and then we'll continue with the tutorial. One nice thing is that while you're waiting, you'll be able to monitor if your models are uploading because you'll receive a success email. And so I've noticed that some of the models have started rolling in. And so this is almost finished. It's important to bear in mind that if you're testing your compute setup locally, you'll want to probably do it on a weekend so that if you have on-time submissions, you won't have a failed compute state. Your mileage may vary. Uh, if you trust it enough, you can deploy it ahead of time. So it looks like our task is finished and it tested locally. Everything looks fine. And now it's just waiting for the log events. We don't have that yet because we haven't deployed it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of that. because I don't need to see that. So the next thing I want to do is I need to deploy this. So let's go ahead and deploy. So it's numeri node deploy. It's going to ask which model name. So we don't get it confused. We're still working on the same models. This is Twitch example Nomi. It's going to build the image and push it to AWS. This is a familiar process. This is exactly what happens when you do a, a deploy command in the previous compute version. So you'll see here uh, the images have been created and now it's being pushed to its directory. Depending on your upload speed, it can be a very fast thing or it can take a little bit of time. Just be patient. We've almost finished completing the process. We're uploading the last part of the image to AWS. The only thing left after this is to make sure that the webhook triggers. So once this is done, we'll do that. Now your webhook has been registered with the website already. There's nothing more for you to do on that front. The only thing left is just to make sure that once it's on AWS is that it will run correctly. We tested it locally so we know at least the image works for us. But now we need just, it even says, the message says test your node. So let's take their advice. Let's do numeri node and let's just add the help flag, you know. Uh, no reason not to take a look, make sure we have it right. So when we do the test, we'll use a different flag than local. So we're going to do numeri node test. Let's see what we want to use. So again, it'll ask us for our model names. We just put that in. And we're going to do, we're not going to add the local, but we will add verbose. So let's do that. Numeri node test. I want the verbose. And we're going to do twitch example nomi. Now it's going to see if it can trigger the model. And we have a provisioning status. So it's going to wait for the log file to be created. Because this takes a fair amount of time, I'm going to skip this step. But do make sure that you let it complete. All right, so I've aborted that test. But I want to run Numeri Doctor. So first, let's take a look at what Numeri Doctor does. So we just add the help flag. So it's going to check and repair the environment in case of errors. So it's going to just see that everything's all right. So let's do Numeri Doctor. It's going to run the environment setup script. It's going to check the CLI version, check the API keys, and looks pretty good. We didn't get any warning flags. We're done here. That's all it took to upgrade, redeploy our node, and now the node will run. Since mine's a pipeline, it will run just that model. However, if you set up individual nodes, then your models will run independently. It's going to increase your upload speed, and if you change something in your predict.py, it will only affect the model that you change. So that's it. I think this is a fantastic update, and please let me know if you need any help in Rocket Chat. Thanks, everybody.